承知した。どう K に任せる私を使え。
上昇腐敗だ。So there you go, there's the uh, best place to get the Arhabaki statues and the mirror figures. They just added this DLC uh, I believe a day or two ago by the time you see this. It actually works pretty well, I hear that people can kill him faster but maybe with uh, the build that I'm using it's a little slower but for 5 minutes uh, you get a pretty significant amount of all the endgame materials. I've gotten the Moan of Despair, uh, 4 of them, both times I've done this so it's a good way to craft uh, endgame armor as well. I know some people are uh, against paying for DLC. The DLC in this game is, uh, it's definitely a mixed bag. I'll definitely admit that. <laughs> like, uh, fighting the new monsters is cool, but you can't fight them in the open world, which is, a uh, some people are, are not okay with that. But as you get towards the end game, uh, you quickly realize the, the open world is really not where you're going to be doing most of your, your gameplay, uh, even if you don't play online with others. Uh, most of the best stuff you get from just finishing the instance missions. So I don't know if you can really hold that against it, but there are uh, quite a few DLC monsters so far have just been straight recolors. But if you want to buy any one at all, I'd recommend buying the Mission Collection Set 3. Uh, that one has that mission that I just did on the video that you're watching, and you can get a pretty significant amount of materials from that. It'll make it easier for you to diversify your builds and max out your stuff to plus 12. Anyway, hope that helps. Peace.